guys. Uh, welcome back to the action. Uh, I'm TGH. Yo, I'm Flair. Troy of Athens. Okay, so you guys are in for a treat here. Um, we have FC Racers doing Invisible Percent. And what that is, is uh, so Celeste has these things called variants. And what variants are is uh, there's just different ways to play the game, basically. So uh, there's, for instance, you can change the game speed, you can change uh, like the floor uh, traction, um, you can like dash twice as far if you want to. Uh, and there's also something called invisible motion. And what that means is that uh, when FC is moving, uh, you won't be able to see him. And that's gonna be pretty much for 99% of the entire run, <laughs> if you can imagine. And like, if you've seen what, what, uh, what we do with Celeste, um, and we're gonna assume that you guys know a lot of like the basic speed tech because the comms here are doing such a good job uh, explaining that. But, um, but yeah, so you guys are in for a treat here, for sure, so. All right, what's up, you guys? FC Race is here again. Oh, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> All right, so yeah, as the couch has explained, this is Invisi Percent. Um, the big thing behind it is that it's basically any percent, uh, minus the fact that you can't see Madeline. The big part is about uh, a lot of improvisation, just improvising and kind of shooting from the hip, so to speak. And hopefully, Everything goes according to plan. Right, this looks good. Yeah, we can. See. Oh, yeah, we can see it now, on the stream. And also, real quick, the file name is for my homeboy and good friend, the Dizo. Just a fantastic streamer as well. You know, just try to give him a little shout out, show a little love. And um, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get this one down. I'll count myself down here. All right, so here we go. In five, four, three, two. One, go. Yeah. All right, so the first and most important thing that we have to do is we have to turn the variant on. Yeah. And we're off. Kev, where's Madeline? So uh, you can't see here. Uh, get used to this. Yeah, um, there are some visual keys that you can go off of. There's the little dust particles that you're making as you move. In some other levels, you have like a spotlight or something on, on Madeline. So you can sort of see but it's not as easy as it once was. <laughs> Even things like Prologue are quite difficult to, uh, to not die in sometimes. The main thing you'll be working with for most of the run is that whenever Madeline dashes, you can see the little illusions of her that kind of illustrate the path that she took. And so that's pretty much all you have to work with. Yeah, I think in some cases that's even crucial to go off. Like, yeah, you can see the little, uh, little silhouettes that she's making when she dashes. And, and at this FC, I know like at any point you could just stop moving to see where you are, but I know you are actually deliberately trying not to stop yeah, as much as possible. Because th that's not fun. <laughs> why? Why should we see ourselves? That's not. The, that's not what this mode is about. In all seriousness, <laughs> though, it is. It is kind of necessary sometimes. Uh, I would imagine to to actually see where you are sometimes. So. Okay, taking the easier out. <laughs> no, no problem. Yeah, for the most part, FC's going to actually be trying for, you know, all the stuff you would normally be doing in an any percent run, most notably doing 5B, which is going to be really hard to do and save time with an invisible motion, but it's so much fun to show off, I feel like. I'm guessing he's just in high concentration mode right now. Yeah. And as you can see, I do uh, a few safety strats. There will be a few of them here and there, but for the most part, we're gonna go for the gusto. Yeah, there's no there's no shame in taking things a little bit slower than than you normally would in a regular run. Yeah, this ball point bounce must be way harder than you <laughs> See you headbutting that ceiling so many times. It's so fun to watch because like you can like as you're watching it almost seems like Madeline teleports to different places. Nicely done there. All right, that's City. So one of the interesting things about Invisible Present, any room that you descend or fall in, just the difficulty amps up a lot. So a few screens that are very easy in any percent, it's a little different. And we're going to see one of those here in Old Sight. 
I'm about pretty sure you guys. Yeah, you guys. Yeah. It's, it's pretty easy to figure out. <laughs> In this song, though. Yeah, just to put things in perspective, like this game is hard enough as is when being able to see metal, and so this is a, well, what FC is doing is extremely technically impressive here. Yeah. Like on pretty much all accounts. Oh, we missed it. That's mm. right. We'll be fine. Sorry. These stream blocks are really helping too. Looks like. Oh. And see, now we have the spotlight on us. Now you always want to take great advantage of, uh, of the things that do hint at where you are. Like, for instance, silhouette, the, the halo. Like, yeah, you can see a very slight halo. Um, or light halo around that one. Extremely cool. I was going for the double jump there. Oh. Nice. A lot of this I actually have not seen in like, every room though. So. Oh nice, let's go. Nice save. save. Oh, wow. Nice oh, 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 wow. Oh, oh, okay. That was, that was sweet. <laughs> and here's the hard part coming up right here. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> you nearly had it. Really good. Nicely done. Good stuff there. I'm curious how this awake section is gonna go. There's no obstacles, but it's, I'm guessing like it's gonna be hard to figure out how fast you're going and where you're going, what walls to avoid and when. All right, here we go with the wake. Yeah, all things considered, that battle line chase was extremely good. Can you get the speed? Oh. Not bad. Yeah, fairly good speed there. So I will point out too that there is in there is no leaderboard on speedrun.com for Invisi Percent. Uh, my current PB is 46 minutes, and the quote unquote unofficial world record actually is by Chai Kitty with 43 and some change. Uh, there are a few runners. It's a really fun category, as you'll see when things get a little dicey here in Celestial Resort. Yeah, I know when practicing this, you had a lot of races with other Celeste runners. Yeah, this, this is definitely where things can get interesting here, uh, with Cycles. As you might be able to imagine, <laughs> cycles, cycles can make things uh, a little bit more uh, difficult. Yeah, the raw difficulty of Chapter 3 is really high, and the fact that you have the spotlight around you for basically the entirety of this chapter, being inside this dark hotel, makes it, like, it's incredibly helpful. <laughs> it could be so much worse than it actually is if it weren't for that. I mean, it's already bad. But it's kind of like you're just watching a ghost move around when you f if you take note of that. Went for the wall bounce, did not get it. It's all right. This for me is one of the worst rooms in the game. I can see that, yeah. Oh, I couldn't tell if you even got your dash back there off that wave dash. Yeah, that's, that's something I never even thought about. You yeah, can't, you no, can't no, you see can't, if you regain yeah. your dash. There have been a couple of instances like that. There was one instance in Chapter 2 where I'm like, okay, did he get his dash back? Right? <laughs> yeah, I feel like you have to just go on faith a lot of the time. Like, okay, I did delay my, my jump enough that it should have given it back to me. Yeah, for, for extended, um, for extended hyper dashes, there is a, a sort of muscle memory involved with that, and that comes up big in something like this. Oh, we kind of need that key. <laughs> he slid underneath the key. Don't want to have to go all the way. Impressive. <laughs> Don't want to have to go all the way back around. Get to three try. 
Fair. It's not as bad as it seems. I remember, <laughs> like, the first time everyone makes that mistake, it's really scary. As long as you don't transition. If you transition, then you're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Trying to do some big man strats here. Getting the wall bounces where he is, where he could. All right, so starting the huge mess section here. Fun fact, you can do these in any order you want, um, but there is a specific way that's the fastest. That's south, north, east, at Please. least at any percent. Yeah, I know the all chapters route has a different yeah. way of doing this chapter. Wow, that was really good boxes for being invisible. Yeah. Yeah, getting a spike jump too is, uh, or the, the spike wall jump is pretty difficult too. Yeah, this is, I mean, just in general, big mess is always where chapter three spikes oh. in difficulty, so to have to do it invisible at this point. I'm starting to have a hard time keeping track of where Fuck. Madeline actually is. Just, just follow the spotlight. <laughs> the world is Madeline's stage right now. So normally in any percent, you know, we want to go for a demo. Oh, oh. Dash a little too early. Uh, I'm actually going to opt to not go for that because there is a visual cue, and I feel that the quad hyper room is going to be a little more entertaining to see. Oh, definitely. Based on what I've seen of it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's a room we haven't seen yet uh, in this event. Uh, so instead of doing demo dash, what you're ordinarily supposed to do is uh, go get the key, uh, which involves a strat that... Oh. Is, uh, is pretty sick, actually. Missed the wave dash there. It's unfortunate that it's slower now, but yeah, it does. Uh, it's pretty technically impressive. You just do quick, uh, four really quick hyper dashes across uh, a series of uh, sinking platforms. Yeah, and demo dash skips that room completely. So, for a lot of inexperienced spinners, I know myself when I was first learning. I implemented Demo Dash as early as possible just so I didn't have to do that quad <laughs> hyper room. <laughs> it is a very difficult one. And so, it'll be fun to see in the goal. <laughs> it's actually really hard to hit these, uh, these dust bunnies that are resting on top of these pillars with a diagonal dash just because of the way the hitboxes work. Okay, but I'd, yeah. I'd say FC almost got a little bit unlucky there uh, with hitting that, that last one. C went for the wall bounce there too. Oh, what? What did he even die on? Yeah, that, <laughs> that, like, that, that looked like the dust bunny, but it was... It was still very strange that something like that was happening. Yeah, yeah. So ordinarily you demo dash here. Um, this is what we used to do in the end percent route. We would uh, we would do this quad hyper room. Just oh, I lost my stamina there. <laughs> sit back and watch this. Yeah, so we're going to be getting a key at the end of the room here to unlock that uh, lock on the previous screen. And similar to uh, oh, no. key skip in, say, Summit, once you get the key, you can just retry at the end. But first, got to get through this. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. Nice. I was hoping for a first try there, but you know, that's what all Invisible Percent is all about. Just happy little mistakes, as Bob Ross would say. This run just looks like an adventure. <laughs> In both the, the best and the worst ways possible. Not looking forward to this this year. <laughs> For you, I mean, I'd, I would never want to do this. Uh-oh. What? Oh! <laughs> that <laughs> was supposed Andrew. to happen. I, I didn't even realize you were over there. I'd like to imagine that Oshiro also has no idea where she is. <laughs> Just randomly going up and down on the screen. Yeah, that should be like a risk-reward thing, like... The things that normally chase you shouldn't be able to follow you, and they just go in random spots oh, to sure. make your life a little easier. <laughs> oh, sure, turn that on his PC thing, <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah, you can see the underscore line, obviously. I, 
And yeah, now there's nice. almost no spotlight because I'm oh, we're pretty much outdoors right now. So it's become harder once again to see that, uh, Madeline. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Aww. It really helps to know the physics of Madeline during this. Oh, it's yeah. crucial. Yeah. Because, like, I, I can, even though I don't see Madeline, I can kind of just, like, understand the gravity right now and, like, where she should be, given what I see FC doing. I lost where I was at. I had, I had <laughs> yeah. no idea where she was either. <laughs> okay. That works. There we go. Nice. Well oh, that's, that's a bit unfortunate. Yeah, it was really smart there to just like kind of bait and dodge Osho just to make sure he knew where he knew where Madeline was coming in the end of that screen. All right, now chapter four. Introducing me, clouds, bubbles, and wind. Okay, metal. Mm, yeah, that's a weird <laughs> part of water. You pretty much, it, it just carries out all the momentum if you hit a wall. So you stop. Even like the previous there screen looked way nice. harder. <laughs> Another spike jump coming up here. Or spike wall jump, I should say. Well done. Yeah, nice. Who needs to see? Couple wall bounces. Nice. A few more. Oh, not going for them? Okay. Sorry, no ultra here, guys. <laughs> mm, perfectly respectable to do. Extended at least? Extended. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Still scary, even. Even then. Oh. Moving really? blocks are cheating. You can see her, but she's still moving. There's a background this, yeah. behind us. That's when we have a halo. Otherwise, we don't have anything. <laughs> what? I did, wow. not get, I did not get my reverse <laughs> hyper, so I had to uh, improvise there. You got to jump dash instead and almost improvise it really well, but somehow found a way to dash in between the bubble and the spikes. Mm -hmm. I don't know how he did it. Oh, let's try that again. It really come, becomes a point where I think Madeline's in a completely different part of the screen and then you die somewhere else and I'm like, oh, okay. It's actually coming up to a very hard screen here because I have a one... Okay, well, I gotta do this again. Oh. <laughs> mm. You guys know the screen, but uh, I have a very small window and platform to land on. So we'll see if I can get it first try. Nice. Woo, okay, let's go. Uh, nicely done. Yeah, that has to take a huge amount of faith. <laughs> oh. I'd say that's pretty much the motto for this run. 
takes a huge amount of faith. <laughs> faith in muscle memory. Yes. Mm -hmm. Try to get ahead of that direction, boy. Also, another mechanic in this chapter. We never really talk about it because we all don't like them. This is snowballs. Wow. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> that snowball took vengeance for its brother. It's fine. Heard what I said about them. So, one thing that I I'm almost sure that FC utilizes here. Uh, fun fact about the wind. Um, if you duck, you actually won't get affected. You can stand in place when you duck. So I would imagine that would help. Okay. Well, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Didn't get the wall down, so had to improvise. Give that bubble some action. Nice. I'll take that. Really, every chapter deserves an applause. <laughs> All right, here's where the here's where the fun really starts to kick up. So we got Mirror Temple, and uh, yes, I am going for five B. So yes, we've got a lot of great things coming up. So we'll see what ha we'll just see what happens. We'll see what happens. Are we gonna try free yeet? Uh, yes. Oh yeah. But I've only gotten yeet once, and that was in any percent. All right, we're taking the, the very scenic route here. It's taking a detour for the stream. And another one, too, because why not? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot to this level that we don't see. Yeah, shout-outs to berries. This is, like, this chapter right here is a big reason why, like, you should play this game. Because There's a lot of rooms that are very difficult in this chapter that you never see yeah. in any percent. This chapter in... in the all red berries and 100% category is like probably one of my favorite things to do in the entire game. Yeah, full, like, full clear chapter five is yeah. the, the best in the game. It's really fun. As long as you know where you're going. Yeah, try not to get lost. Nah, Ooh. we'll take it. Okay, like still a half. Got, still got the faster strat uh, to, to get up there in the first place, which okay. is still very impressive. Yeah, just missed the corner boost at the end. I'm very curious how this cassette room is going to go. At least in the cassette room, there are some opportunities to, you know, see where you are because you have to stand still at some point. Right. Now we have our B-side tape and we're going to return the map and head on over to 5B. All right, here we go. So there's a lot of really hard rooms in here. Or invisible percent, but first we got to get through the good old Bubs Drop. Yeah. Everything so, proceeding. Sorry. Yeah, so Bubs Drop actually uh, isn't all that different uh, as far as I'm concerned uh, in invisible percent. So I don't think Bubs Drop should be that much of a problem, but it's what's it's what's following Bubs Drop that that's going to be very difficult. I mean, yeah. much of a problem as it always is. Yeah, pretty much all rooms before Bub's Drop are much easier than anything after it. Oh no. <laughs> Just gonna inch our way up here. Nice. Hey. Oh, let's go. Yeah. First try. Gotta make you antsy just waiting for the screen tra transition to happen. Like, see, TJ, like, like, why do you fail it all the time? You can do it invisible. It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna play it a little safe here and actually just go. That's really smart. Oh, okay. oh. Uh, I should have gone for I'm the checkpoint. I'm actually surprised I didn't respawn you at that, at that location on the left. I mean, with you unlocking that door, you might as well just go for the checkpoint on the left. 
seemed like a freak thing. You know, we'll just do this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was saying, yeah. Oh, we need to do it again. Yeah. Kind of need that button. Nice. The third spike jump of this game. Okay, so coming up is... Uh, Oh boy! Yeah. So after <laughs> this, after this really long ascent uh, up toward the mirror, we go through a really long descent after the mirror. And FC uh, calls that room the hardest room to do in this category I for good that. reason. Yeah. Just gonna play it a little safe here and just wait. Kind of. You remember what we were talking about in chapter four with landing on that one pixel block? Right, here we go. Yep. Here we go. Having gaps that small is going to be hard to deal with, too. It's a lot of muscle memory right now. Mm. There was a patch in the game where they changed a bunch of the uh, B-side screens. Yeah, this and room used to be a lot harder. Yeah, the gaps used to be like twice as small as they were now. Just imagine. Nice to know. Oh, okay. Seeker, I need your help. Thank you. There we go. Go oh, oh, ahead. A lot of the strategies that we do in the screen aren't like technically what you're supposed to do casually, but we're just so used to them now. Okay. In order to hit this uh, this switch on the ceiling and uh, boot this seeker, you need to be on a pretty precise spot on the top of the pillar before it. Yeah, the, the speakers are very movement based. Okay, that was sick. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> oh. Can we get some water for this? Oh. We're getting close. Yeah, this this is extremely hard to do. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Hey. There we go. There we go. Woo. There it is. So, which one are you going to go for here? Yeah. We celebrate through getting th through that room like we're mm. catching any kind of break when... <laughs> Not at all. No. <laughs> oh! There we go. Nice. nice. Boost across. You don't need to join my class. It's all right. All right. The f <laughs> this is pretty entertaining because... Theo oh. Was <laughs> Theo is jump. <laughs> it Theo is Theo flowing Theo is not affected out. by this, so he's just kind of hopping along, having a good time. We are actually video right now. I can't believe Theo's getting out of here all by himself this quickly. This is actually really impressive. He got tired of waiting. <laughs> <laughs> it, it really is like He's on a time. rampage. <laughs> we did take a long time to get to him. Okay. It seems that Theo doesn't believe him in himself right now, knowing it was clearly impossible for himself to do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was weird. There you there go. There we go. That is five feet. I'll take that. Nicely done. All right, so moving on to chapter six. 
actually don't remember if uh, if feathers become invisible. I don't think they, they do. D- they you do. You have a trail. Yeah, you get a trail, but the fe- okay. Like okay. the actual like where the feather exactly is, you don't have. You just have where it was. <laughs> oh yeah. You just have like the, yeah these little particles behind you. That's it. <laughs> you don't have the you don't have the glowy effect of the feather. Which is actually in, like this is the only introduced mechanic that also listens to the invisible thing. Like bubbles, you still see dream yep. blocks, you still see where you are. That's true. Invisible lake skip. Mm. There, there it is. is. Nice. Oh no, I left. <laughs> I was not ready for the <laughs> Oh, you got a little halo too. That's yeah. It's it's very small though. Yeah, a more <laughs> pronounced halo. <laughs> in addition to the wider one. I don't know if we ever addressed it, but when you pick up a feather, any momentum that you have kind of like slowly decays so that you actually kind of still move a little bit with the feather. Yeah. I think it's if you're, if you have a lot of momentum or if you're still like in your dash state, that'll happen. That's okay. Too much speed. It can be really hard to control your momentum coming in that screen if you come in with a lot of speed. Shout out to Kevin, by the way. Always shouting him out. It's a fantastic sound effect. Really good there. Also, I do not go for a uh, top route because I don't actually go for that in my any percent route just <laughs> yet. But uh, that room is a little tricky, as you guys will see. Even when visible, it's tricky. <laughs> oh. mm. Nice shot getting the bumper boost, though, to yeah. make it all the way to that third one. There we go. Nice. Getting the extra distance. That's the best screen in the game, by the way. Shout out to all my fellow bottom route members. Ooh. We really just oh, have no hi. skill. Stop booing me, sushi. <laughs> 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 we do have some Celeste runners in the practice area right now who are totally listening in, too. I mean, if I wasn't commentating right now, I'd probably be booing as well. I don't blame it. Yeah, we. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do have a run in like a couple hours right now. If Evan Fight were here, he wouldn't be booing me. Okay. Mm. Okay, Madeline, you Where are you? <laughs> Uh, we got another falling screen coming up. Are you gonna you going for Devin's head and shortcuts? Of course. FC? Devin's headed. He might get the, the checkpoint mm-hmm. after the first one. Because like the, the first the first couple have setups and then the second one doesn't, so I would imagine. Right. Oh, okay, the missing the okay, second yeah. one. Yeah, so that gets a makes checkpoint, sense. And then he's gonna go for this one. Nothing but a halo of light. To guide. Very nice. Underwater movement looks even weirder right now. <laughs> Coming up on the battle and fight. Okay, battle and. invisible battle and booster here. This is purely muscle memory. Nice. All right, here we go. Yeah, Troy is right when he said this is this is definitely just purely muscle memory right here.
I don't know where I'm at. What? Oh, no. <laughs> I think you wall grabbed that falling block. Maybe. There we go. Nice. I have no idea where she was on the entire <laughs> screen. That was scary. I think that was a reverse ultra. He did mention uh, like the hardest screens in this category are the uh, the long falling descending ones, and there are uh, there's another one coming up pretty soon. Wow. So you mean this one? Yes. Okay, that was really good. Mm. Okay. Oh. Go. Nicely done. Okay. So I feel like I'm in a good spot. Heading into Summit. You think you're on pace? I might be. I do know that I'm very ahead of estimate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right now, so there's that. Um, I'm not sure if they want, I mean, I can try to do some B-sides to fill in that time to fill up the estimate, because I don't think we're, are we too far behind on schedule? 7C. We might also be able to show off some other variants. That too, which would actually be really interesting because I haven't practiced any of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see some hiccups. You could do super dashes and show off the speed you can get with that. Yeah, super dashes, low friction, hiccups. But first, let's <laughs> take on the summit. Once again, the summit is a uh, a uh, culmination of all the uh, the areas that you visited previously. So here you have the uh, this is actually the chapter six section. You're basically like you know, in chapter six you fall down off the mountain, and uh, so now you're here in chapter six, kind of still. Oh, where am I at? Let's try I, that again. I had no idea what? either. <laughs> And then once this section is over, you move on to chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, so on and so forth. And it reintroduces uh, a lot of those mechanics as well from those chapters.
I lost her for a second. Uh oh. Oh. No. <laughs> that was a missed input. My bad. That was a really good 500. Yeah, oh, it was like. Yeah, it, that was super clean. It, it just became a point where we actually got mesmerized for a second. Played a little safe. I know at least at least I was mesmerized by movement for a bit. Uh, Dream Hypers are probably very interesting here, I'm guessing. Oh, mm. great idea. Yeah, I'm trying to get the dashes back from the springboard. There we go. Let's see some Dream Hypers. There's a small really spot you can smart. jump off of on the bottom. Yeah, but some smart go. ledge grabs. <laughs> and like corner jumping, maybe. So back to chapter three mechanics. Gonna be dealing with very difficult dust bunny cycles. Yeah, I hesitated just a bit too long. <laughs> These rooms must be just the absolute worst. Right. I'm dreading triple hyper as well. I there we go. There it is. I almost feel bad for FC sometimes with this run. I, I don't like that you have to put yourself through this. I ran out of stamina. Are we gonna? I thought we were gonna go see a crystal for a second. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this one nice and slow. Ah! audience support coming out. I just hope people out there watching just know how difficult this actually is. This is kind of curious. This is incredibly hard. Let's say happy chat. Okay. Yeah, sure. All right. <laughs> okay. We'll take it. There we go. We're on his nose. <laughs> nice. 
Nice. Here we go. Good adjustment. <laughs> Clouds are a helpful mechanic, but these pink clouds, they, they disappear after we jump on them. Not so helpful. <laughs> also, it doesn't help that like the background is kind of the same color as the silhouettes that Metal leaves behind when she dashes. Yeah. <laughs> you can also barely see the halo around oh. there. Yeah, it really only exists whenever you have a background. It's just like complete oh. sky. Oh, we're going to snowball, save. Bop. Mm. snowball bop. Yeah. Okay, dashes are back. Really good save. Really good save. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. M Sushi cheering for uh, for <laughs> bounding under the terrain. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> oh, that saves like three frames or something. Actually, let's go back. Let's go back. Here we go. Okay. Oh. oh. He's trying for the wall bounce, but it's just hard to see. I'm actually watching chat right now. How are you guys enjoying this? You guys better be enjoying this. This is this is uh, for, for lack of a better term, this is a sight to behold. Well, yeah, something I thought about during this is like during the weird moments where something goes wrong and all of a sudden I can't tell where he is anymore and it becomes super exciting. Yeah. I feel like I've kind of spoiled the run for myself by having muscle memory of every room in the game. Mm -hmm. And it must be a much different experience to just watch this yeah, and not know <laughs> anything that's going on at all times. Don't worry, guys. We'll definitely go for door skip. Oh, no question. We're going to take this one nice and slow. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. Nice. I was not getting it in practice, so I was like, let me not go for that. Perfectly respectable. Well, I'm pretty sure you guys know what I am going to go for. Oh, mm -hmm. whoa, okay. <laughs> it's already been mentioned a little bit. Nice boost. Wow. Very nice. Threaded the needle. Ooh, okay, we gotta get this. No, no, no going oh. for the real way. You have to do a door skip. There's one. Come on. Hey. Hey. Nice. There you go. <laughs> this one is uh, officially validated now, right? That's how <laughs> it works. Oh, no. All right, updraft and downdrafts. Oh, but first, the screen. Okay. The screen is actually like very easy to die. Even at any percent runs, I've seen plenty yeah, this, of deaths. The screen, can, the screen can be daunting. 
Oh, okay, I got on top oh, of this now. <laughs> Yeah, final 30 flags. 3,000 meters. So the fact that we knew like Madeline's physics this whole time, the fact, I feel like gravity changing up on us with the downdrafts is going to make it way harder. It does. Yeah, it does throw you for a loop. Oh. Just learn to trust yourself of knowing what Madeline's physics are, and now it's just completely turned over. flag skips here and there. Mm. Save, okay, good. Oh, the save. Nice. That was brilliant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Nice job. Safe. Yep. Oh, okay. Small gaps once again coming up. Oh, I was not high enough. That halo is really bright. <laughs> okay, no more wind to distract us. Yeah, like, look how bright the spotlight is right now. Too. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> that was about to be so clutch. It's fine. I'm sad. Uh, that sent us way back. <laughs> All right. 
right, flag one. Let's go. The time's coming up once FC reaches the flag and skips a cutscene. And time. time. Good run. Woo. Was that a 52 and some change? Oh, 56. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take yeah, that. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. So there you go. That was uh, Celeste Invisible Percent. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a really fun category, as stressful and difficult as it appears. Um, but it's really not that hard. You'd be surprised how much muscle memory you have if you've been playing the game and just kind of going into it. Uh, I'd like to give a huge thank you to everybody on the couch, of course, TGH, Flare Bear, and Troy of Athens. Um, huge shout outs to Matt and Noel and everybody that put their time and effort into making such a fantastic game. Like, this is my first speedrun game, and it's what really got me into the community, and I don't think I could have picked a better game to get started in. Um, shout out to all, the, all my friends at home, uh, the Dizo, as you see. As the, the file name, Danny Mobo, Ty Vega, everybody else. And um, yeah. Do we, do we, have, do we have time for like other variants to show off or anything? Uh, I'll have to split. No? I don't okay. Know. We'll see. We're, no? get, we're getting a no. All right, that's fine. Well, most importantly, let's see. 138 deaths. I'll take that. So yeah. I'd like to thank, of course, GSA and everybody here at Pace for letting me get the opportunity to showcase this fantastic run as well. And uh, we'll go ahead and wrap this one up. Thank you very much, you guys.